All right, so my name's Danielle, and I'm a teacher with Georgie, actually, at Hopsonville Point Secondary. And I started teaching a few years ago, and it was all this hoo-ha about teaching as inquiry. Um, but unfortunately, the schools I ended up in, they weren't really interested. And then when I thought, oh, actually, I'll start this whole teaching as inquiry business, it sounds like it makes total sense to me. Why isn't everyone doing it? Um, I had a go, but it wasn't really until I encountered Claire Amos that I realized, well, actually, there's a lot more to this, and I realized the full power of teaching as inquiry. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to share how you can actually go about setting up a really good inquiry. So um, you'd start with a problem or a crisis, or you start with something that isn't the way you would like it to be. That isn't the way it should be in an ideal world where all kids are happy and all kids are learning. So as a maths teacher, um, there are a lot of issues in maths. Kids generally don't really like maths. Um, there's also the recent PISA scores that came out where we fell in the international rankings. There's kids feeling like, and grown-ups feeling like once they leave school, the maths that they use don't really match the maths that they used or learned at school. So for example, engineers, they will find another way to do the same problems they were taught at school, but they'll use the environment, they use the tools available to them, and not the methods that they were taught to just repeat at school. There's also this um, thing about how maths problems in the classroom aren't always relevant, and they don't always make sense. Kids are expected to ignore facts that they would never normally ex ignore in real life. Um, so there's this kind of fake authenticity to it. So there's my problem. So what can I do about it? So I wanted to look at engagement because it's considered malleable, first of all. It can actually, it, you can actually improve the engagement for kids. Um, it's multidimensional, so there's lots of components to it. Um, and it's really key in actually improving academic outcomes for at-risk students. And as we know, we've got our Maori Pacifica kids who we really do want to look after. So looking at the Teaching as Inquiry cycle, start it with a research question. Um, and then I focused my inquiry by looking at some research. So I looked first of all at problem solving. So what kind of problems um, could help with student engagement? and then I also looked at cooperative learning and what kind of benefits could come from cooperative learning. So I looked at all of these things trying to figure out what could I do to increase the engagement for my students in regards to maths. Um, now the thing about a good inquiry is that you need to gather data to see whether what you're doing is working. So I made up a questionnaire and the questionnaire is available for anyone to use. But also, when you look at all of this data, you need to go about to check that you aren't just reinforcing your own bad behavior. So you need to set up your data collection that if, in fact, your intervention didn't work, that you will pick that up as well. So these are two things that I've, I've looked at setting up so that I could look at whether the interventions I put in place worked or didn't work. And on the left, you'll see the results from the survey, so how I, you can use those. But also on the right, um, Te Kutahitanga has a practice where you simply sit in the classroom and you cycle around every student and just tick or cross whether they're on task or not. It works particularly well if you do it at transition points. So this is a way that I could see, well, actually, this has led to students being more engaged or it hasn't, and I need to go back and follow check whether students are becoming more engaged, less engaged. And as this teaching as inquiry is a cycle, I need to go back around, do some more research, try another intervention, has it worked, and keep improving for my students. And that's me. Thank you very much.